Welcome to episode 8 of how to grow your YouTube channel in a formal slash parody video. So before we get into this, um, this is after I've already put everything in the video, uh, the intro, ironically, but I just wanted to address a few things in the video. I don't make as many jokes as I usually do um, in this series, in this video, even though the video is about joking, also another ironic thing. Uh, mostly because I just had a lot to say on the topic so it just kind of turned into more of an informal video rather than a parody so hopefully uh, that doesn't bother too many people I'll try to make some jokes you know every now and then but they will they'll be pretty subtle they won't be um, anything that's like in your face haha you should laugh at that you know so hopefully you guys enjoy the video and let's get right into it if your channel is entirely based on comedy, then it really is dependent on the audience that you are trying to appeal to. It's really hard to appeal to everyone, you know, keep everyone happy because everyone's gonna have their own preference in terms of humor. So whatever your style of humor is, that's the audience that you wanna stick with. Now, if you're more oriented to adult humor, it's probably best to stick with adult humor than going after childish humor because that might push away your audience because they're like, why is he you know, making that sort of joke? That's not really what I'm into. Myself, I joke about pretty much anything. And that can be good and that can be bad. It's good because it can draw on multiple audiences. It's bad because I may say something that offends someone else and thus I might lose a subscriber or I might get hate or whatnot. Now, if your channel isn't really a comedy channel, it's not something that you normally do, but you'll joke around every now and then in your videos, you know? But your the basis of your entire content is not just for you to be funny. It's just for you to be entertaining in general, you know? Appeal to your audience to where they are interested in watching the video for a longer period of time versus just making them laugh on a consistent basis. And if that's the case, then you have to be careful with what you say, what you think is funny and what your audience thinks is funny. For example, maybe you think um, a very, very dark, grim sort of joke maybe you make a joke about 9-11 or the holocaust or something very controversial to you that's funny and maybe to a couple of your viewers that might be funny but then there might be someone else who also watches your videos is like dude come on that was tasteless shouldn't have made that joke and it really really does depend on your audience when you make those kind of jokes which it's kind of weird because some people like to watch other people's videos that piss them off even though you know it's a bad idea what I'm trying to say here is someone might watch your video and not like your content, but still watch your video anyway and complain about what you're doing in the video. And it's really hard to deal with those people when you're trying to make jokes and whatnot, because no matter what you do, they'll never be satisfied. So even if you block them, like keep them from commenting or whatever, they can still like or dislike the video. They can still go after you on social media or whatever, and they can just make another account and just continue to press and be pretty annoying about everything. So it's really tough on how you want to deal with that. You can just ignore it. You can get your viewers to do something about it. And you probably don't want your viewers to do anything about that kind of stuff. I'm kind of going off on a tangent here, I'm aware. But it's just something that I feel like I had to address in this uh, scenario. There's a lot of things that go into joking around or whatever. Maybe you'll make a joke that you didn't think would actually be offensive. And if that's the case... You can try to apologize for it, but there's no guarantee you'll be forgiven. And don't apologize for forgiveness. Apologize because you actually want to apologize. And what I mean is, obviously you want to be forgiven. You don't want to you know, upset anybody. Uh, maybe you don't, I don't know. I can't really tell you what you want, but if you don't want to upset anyone, that's not your intention when you make a joke, then, um, you probably should just apologize and then leave it at that. Just address it and be done with it. And then whatever people decide to do after that, there's not really much you can do. Now, if someone keeps going after you for something that you said in the video, after you've already apologized, then that's when it's just like, you can apologize again, but in doing so, it could trigger just them constantly bothering you about it. And you can never really get them off your back because you gave them that attention to try to apologize again. So now, after you've done that, you've kind of given them a reinforcement that says, hey, keep uh, complaining about it and I'll keep apologizing for it. And it'll just keep them coming back for more and coming back for more and continuously bothering you about it. It's really hard to 
kind of stop them from doing that. And I couldn't tell you what the best solution is because every single person in the world or there are so many different groups of people basically, there's so many variables that go into that. It's just hard to say what's the best route. And then the only thing you really do in that scenario is just apologize one time and just leave it at that. There are some jokes that you just shouldn't make ever, you know? You can't really joke about uh, politics too much because it's a very controversial topic. If that's what your channel is, go ahead and do it, you know? That's your channel. If it's not what your channel is, probably shouldn't do that. It's, it's a lot that goes into this, and I keep saying that, but I'm just trying to drive it home that you understand that no matter what you joke about, there's going to be some sort of issue somewhere. Either someone's not gonna think it's funny, which is a minor issue, or someone's going to be upset, or someone's going to use that joke somewhere else, get themselves in trouble, and now they're upset with you because you said a joke that they thought was okay because you said it in the video, because they, how do I put it? People tend to see other YouTubers, viewers I mean, tend to see YouTubers as role models. Even if that's not what you wanna do, that's the way they see you. So let's say for instance, you have maybe, you could have 15 subscribers, and then there's that one kid who always watches every single one of your videos. So when you do something, you can inspire them to do something as well. So if you make a joke that's inappropriate or that is something that can be controversial and they also make that joke, then they're gonna be like, oh, well, I learned it from so-and-so, your channel, basically. And in doing so, it kind of goes back on you. So you really gotta be careful with that. And there's no way that you can account for every single person who watches your video. So the best thing to do is to say, hey, look, uh, don't repeat that or something, some, some sort of warning after you've said something like that. I've had to do so many retakes for this last part here. I'm just, I'm struggling to find a way to close this one out. So basically, I'm just gonna say that there's no safe joke, so really, you're just gonna have to risk it all. Don't be afraid to fail, as I said in the last video. Just kinda go for it. Even if you think it may not be funny, whatever you're about to say, say it anyway. Like I make jokes all the time throughout this series pretty much and people may have watched the video and haven't laughed once, didn't even grin, didn't even crack a smile, didn't even bat an eye to what I was saying. Didn't even, you know, take the time to go, oh, I'm gonna like the video because that joke was funny. Nothing, it just, it just weren't, it wasn't funny, you know? It's a possibility. You know, a lot of things that can go into the things that you do. When you go on any social media thing in general, there's just going to be a big risk of what you do is under a microscope and no matter what you try to do, people will overanalyze it or people will take it the wrong way in some regard. You can't please everybody, even if it's just a joke. So I guess that's pretty much it there. So uh, for my next video, I want to do one on what if you want to talk about your beliefs or if you want to talk about trends or like, I mean, trying to be trendy or um, getting personal with your viewers. And I'll do one of those three next if you wanna go ahead and tell me which one you prefer for the next one. I already put a voting thing up top. You can vote for the next one, uh, the next thing I do for the video. And if you don't vote at all, then I'm just going to do what I wanna do and just upload the next one that I think should be next. And usually my subscribers tell me to do what I think is best next. So with that being said, if you want to join me and subscribe, subscribe. I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers and I would appreciate it if you helped out. So with that being said, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.